Let's get started installing your Hunter industrial fan. Here's what you'll need. Secure the bracket and down rod to the lift and raise to the I-beam. Assemble the mount with shims and clamps on the bracket. Hook the clamp to one side of the I-beam and tighten the hardware until the mount is secure. Assemble the other shim and clamp to the I-beam and tighten. Center the mount under the I-beam, making sure the clamps have a maximum coverage on both sides. Wrap the retention cable around the beam or building structure you're hanging the fan from. Secure the remaining cable together with the cable clamps. Coil the excess cable and secure. Insert clevis pin into the retention rod and secure with the provided clip. Connect the two plugs and twist to lock. Lift the motor assembly while pushing the motor and safety cables into the down rod flange. Feed the studs through the down rod flange while pulling the excess wire and cable through the top of the down rod. Then secure with the nylon lock nuts. Be careful not to pinch the cable between the motor and the down rod flanges. Make sure the breaker is off and the lockout or tagout procedures are in place. The electrical receptacle for the panel should be installed prior to installing the panel. Position the panel with the plug connectors facing down. Mount the control panel with one fastener per corner. Connect the motor cable from the fan to the control panel. Twist the connector to lock it in place. Secure the excess cable to the ceiling or beam. Connect the communication cable to one of the comm terminals and run it down to where you will be using the touch screen. Make sure the control panel is 15 feet from the center of the fan. Connect the electrical plug to the receptacle and twist the connector to lock in place. Mount the touchscreen and closure to the wall. Attach the screen panel to the enclosure by putting a screw in each corner. Assemble the watertight RJ45 connector. Connect the communication cable from the control panel to the COM1 port at the base of the touchscreen unit. Connect the pre-wired 110 volt plug into the input power receptacle. Make sure you maintain a 45 degree angle between the ceiling and the guy wire. Attach the guy wire to the building structure with the provided beam clamps. Once you attach the guy wire to the beam clamp, temporarily thread the wire to the guy wire disc until all four guy wires are attached to the building. After the guy wires are attached to the building, hook the ends of the turnbuckles to the guy wires disc on the down rod. Unthread the guy wires from the disc. Thread each guy wire through one of the provided gripples, then the end of the turnbuckle and back through the gripple. Place the level against the down rod and in a crisscross pattern, hand tighten the turnbuckles, occasionally checking to make sure the fan stays level. Make sure you tighten the set screws. Line up the pin on the post with the opening on the blade holder. Using our Quick Connect system, insert the blade tube into the blade hub until you hear a click. Use the torque wrench to tighten the two set screws to 20 foot pounds. Repeat for the remaining blades. 